Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 8, lesson 2, greatest common factor. Guys, to find the greatest common factors of different numbers, for example, we can give you two or three or four numbers to find the greatest common factors. There are two ways. The first way is like this one. You make the prime factorization of each number like you have three numbers 40 24 and 32 so you make the prime factorization of 40 first then 24 and then 32 this is how we make the prime factorization like you will see that into how many two numbers you can break 40 let's say 4 times 10 or you can say 2 times 20 it depends on you at the end you will get the same result okay and then you will see the other numbers, the numbers down now. How can you break this 4? 2 times 2. And how can you break this 10? 2 times 5. Now, from these ones, can you break it more? No, it's not possible. So this is the prime factorization of 40. Similarly here, 24. 4 times 6 is 24. Then we can break the 4, 2 times 2, and 6, 2 times 3. We cannot break these numbers more, so this is the prime factorization for 24. Similarly, 32 here, 4 times 8, 32. Then we break the 4, 2 times 2, okay, and 8, 2 times 4. Now we cannot break these 3, so we just write them down as it is okay and we break this 4 into 2 times 2 now you guys will choose the common ones common means the one which is in all of them in all of their prime factorization like 2 is here 2 is here and 2 is here there is another 2 another 2 and another 2 there is third 2 2 and 2. What about 5? Five? 5 is not here and not here. What about 3? Three? 3 is not here and here, so we cannot choose it. What about these 2? There's no more 2's in this one and this one. So what are the common factors? 1, 2 and 3. 3 2's. You multiply them 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2 equals 8. So the greatest common factor the GCF for 40, 24, and 32 is 8. This is the first way of finding the greatest common factor. We call it GCF, greatest common factor. Okay. If you don't understand anything, uh, rewind the video and watch it again, how we solved it. Okay, now there is another way to solve, to find the greatest common factor. They give us 60 and 54. So what you guys will do, first you will write the factor pairs for 60. 60. How? What are the factor pairs? What are the two numbers you can multiply and you can get 60? Like 1 times 60, 2 times 30, 3 times 20, 4 times 15 and 5 times 12 and 6 times 10 anything else guys nothing only these are the factor pairs of 60 you will not find more you have to write it down here so you don't forget how we make the greatest common uh, the factor pairs for 60 again you will make the factor pairs for 54 now 54 1 times 54 2 times 27 3 times 18 4 times nothing will give me 54, even 5 times nothing, 6 times 9. Anything else guys? Nothing else. Only 
these are the factor pairs for 54. Now you have the factor pairs of 60, you have the factor pairs of 54. You will write it in a line wise, like you start from here and go all the way down and then again up in U shape. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. Here they write it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. Similarly for 54, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27, and 54. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27, and 54. Okay? And now you will choose the common ones. 1 is in both of them. 2 is in both of them. 3 is in both of them. 4 is not here, so we will not choose 4. 5 is not here. 6 is here. Yes. 9, 18. These are not commons now. Common means the one which is in both of them. So the common factors are 1, 2, 3, and 6. From this we choose 1, 2, 3, and 6. And from the common ones, the greatest common factor, these are the common factors, guys. And the greatest common factor, GCF, is 6. So the GCF of 60 and 54 is 6. So I told you this, the two ways to make the greatest common factor. The first one using the prime factorization here. And the second one using the factor pairs. Got it, guys? Similarly here, let's solve one more question for you guys. Uh, 8 and 32. The factor pairs for 8, 1 times 2, 2 times 4. 1 times 32, 2 times 16, and 3 times nothing, 4 times 8. That's it. Nothing else. No more. You will not find more. You will write them here in U shape 1, 2, uh, this one, sorry, 8. 1 times 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Okay. Then you will choose the common ones. 1 is common, 2 is common, 4 is common, and 8 is common. 1, 2, 4, 8. And from these commons, the greatest one is 8. So the greatest common factor of 8 and 32 is 8. Similarly, guys, you will do for all these questions. Okay. And here in the next page in independent practice. You can use the prime factorization or you can use the factor pairs. And then match your answers from this video. Similarly, next page here, they are finding the greatest common factor of 8, 12, 16, which is 4. For 12 and 16, it is 4. For 14 and 21, it is 7. Now there's uh, something else also. What is the GCF of the numbers shown? So from these ones, circle the number that would take away so that 8 will be the GCF. If you, the, the GCF is 4 for all these numbers. But if you take away 20, it will be 8 because 8 is not the factor of 20. And this is the last question, guys. I hope you understand the lesson. If you really understand, guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.